Good morning, Amy. Fair fa, your honest sonsy face. Great chief to know the puddin' race. This is the only plaid thing I own. Today, for Becoming British, I'm going to direct us over to Scotland, where tonight is Burns Night. <laughs> Burns Night is the annual celebration of the Scottish poet Robert Burns. He's probably most famous worldwide for writing Auld Lang Syne, the song you sing at New Year's, but in Scotland, he's like the main dude. He's so famous. They call him the Bard, which I thought was only a title attributed to Shakespeare, but not so in Scotland. To experience Burns Night, I went to a bar in Raleigh called Tiernanog, where they had a Burns Supper. Because we're in the U.S. and not actually in Scotland, it wasn't so much a celebration of Robert Burns as just a celebration of Scottish culture. Burns Night centers around a kind of combination between a performance and a meal. There's speeches, and there's performances, singing, and there's food, and of course there's lots and lots of drinking of scotch. I should mention that I donned my one ring for the occasion. I know it's not particularly Scottish or anything, but it felt appropriate. So I got to Tiernanog, and I grabbed myself a glass of scotch on the rocks in a seat really close to the stage. I met this really cool couple there. Their names were Megan and Steve, their brother and sister, and they're half Scottish, half Italian. They told me that each Scottish family or clan has their own plaid, which is called a tartan. Hello, I'm Steve. Our uh, last name's Curry. We are from the clan McDonald, clan Renault. This is our tartan here. It's an offshoot of the McDonald clan way back in the day. That uh, the difference between our tartan and the McDonald tartan is the white stripe here. That's how you can tell the difference. Each clan has got their own specific tartan. They were super sweet. Then the evening started with the piping in of the haggis. Once they got the haggis to the stage, this old guy recited Burns' Address to a Haggis, which is basically a long, enthusiastic poem in celebration of ground meat. Before your honest saucy face, great chieftain of the puttin' race, I put them all you tack your place, hence try for Burns. Well, are you worthy of a grace? Lines my arm. He did it much better than I could. A haggis is like the most revered food in all of Scotland. They love it almost as much as they love Robert Burns. In its most traditional form, it's ground sheep's heart, liver, and lungs, mixed with other stuff and cooked in a sheep's stomach. Needless to say, this vegetarian did not partake. After the address to the haggis, there was a performance of Scottish Highland dancing, which was both cute and impressive. Then I went and bought some earrings, and a band played some Celtic music. And then there was a bagpipes marching band to end the evening. All in all, I really enjoyed Burns Night, and I would love to experience it in its more traditional manner someday. Thank you, Amy, for kicking off Becoming British so well. I am just becoming a tea drinker myself, and from your video, I learned that I'm doing everything wrong, but it works for me. You mentioned in your last video that you've been to Ireland and England, and you asked if I had been to those places as well, and yes, I have. Um, in 2008, I think? I went to London, Dublin, and Glendalock. Um, I love them both. It was such a short time, and I would love, love, love to go back. Yarr! Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and all? For all lang syne, my jo, for all lang syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for all.